Somali has named a new police chief and intelligence boss in a move aimed at improving security. The decision came following an urgent cabinet session in the capital Mogadishu. Bashir Ahmed Mohamed was named the country's new police chief. Before his appointment, he served as a deputy police chief. Hussein Usman, a member of parliament, was picked to head the intelligence department. The appointments come almost four months after their predecessors were sacked following two deadly attacks in Mogadishu that killed hundreds of civilians. On October 14, 2017, a truck laden with hundreds of kilograms of explosives detonated at a busy junction in downtown Mogadishu. The attack claimed more than 500 lives. Two weeks later, armed militants disguised as intelligence officers stormed a popular hotel in the heart of the capital, killing more than 20 people, among them politicians. It's these two attacks that prompted Somali authorities to sack the top two security heads, in a bid aimed at reassuring the public that the government was serious about improving security. The absence of leadership in the two top security organs in the country was a blow to the government. It will take these commanders a while to understand the challenges on the ground, and this will limit their capacity and judgment in carrying out operations. Mogadishu is enjoying a long period of relative stability for the first time in months. Experts attribute this to increased security surveillance at some of the country's security checkpoints. Meanwhile, Somali security forces are not taking any chances, as militant group Al-Shabaab continues to pose a security challenge not just here in Somalia, but beyond. A special force tasked with stabilizing and disarming potential threats to stability has made progress on the ground. But Al-Shabaab's ever-increasing tactics seem to have frustrated security forces. As the new commanders take charge, experts suggest that the security chiefs must remain vigilant and take the fight right to the militants' doorsteps. Al-Shabaab, an Al-Qaeda offshoot in the Horn of Africa, has been battling the country's internationally recognized governments for more than a decade. Most recently, it was ranked Africa's deadliest militant group, overtaking Boko Haram based in the West African nation of Nigeria. Somali's president says that his administration is determined to dismantle Al-Shabaab by end of 2018. But based on recent attacks, analysts say that that fight is far from being won. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.